Hey guys, some of you actually feel that when you get to a certain age and you are not married, it simply means you are abnormal. Or religion will tell you that you have marine spirits or banjo spirits or your umona is following you from your village. That is what society has made a lot of women believe. That if you get to a certain age and you are not married, that something is wrong with you. But I'm here to tell you that is a lie. A very big fat lie. It is okay not to be married at some certain age. Do you know why? Some women were not born to get married. Yes, some women might never get married. Some women might never think about marriage. Some women might decide not to marry. And some women might never stay married. Are you surprised? Let me take you back to that religion that you always go to church every Sunday. Pick up your Bible. Go to Matthew 19. Have you picked up the Bible? Matthew 19, from verse 11 to 12. Are you there? This is the part that they never preach in the church. This is the part that your pastors might never tell you. This is the part that your mothers might never tell you. They don't read this part of the Bible for you. Matthew 19, from chapter 11 to 12, and I read. But Jesus said, not everyone is mature enough to live a married life. Did you hear that? Jesus said, Not everyone is mature to live a married life. Both man and woman. <clears throat> it requires a certain attitude of grace. Grace to be married and to stay married. I come again. But Jesus said, Not everyone is mature enough to live a married life. It is required a certain attitude and grace. Marriage isn't for everyone. Chapter 12. Matthew 19, chapter 12. Are you holding your Bible? Marriage isn't for everyone. Some from birth seemingly never give marriage a thought. From birth, you don't want to marry. <laughs> Others never get asked. Or accepted. So that time that that man is breaking your heart, the marriage is not working, the relationship is not working, everything is not working. Some is natural. Don't go and kill yourself. Others never get asked or accepted. And some decide not to get married for kingdom reasons. Those are our reverend sisters. You can decide not to get married and leave your body to remain the temple of God. But if you are capable of growing into the largeness of marriage, do it. My Bible has told me that for you to get married, you must be capable. I'm going to teach you the meaning of capability. My Bible said, but if you are capable of growing into the largeness of marriage, do it. Some people do not have the capability to get married and stay married. Don't let anybody put you under pressure. Society has coined a lot of things to suit them. Religion has coined a lot of things to suit them. My darling sister, you don't have a spirit. My darling sister, you don't have spiritual husband. My darling sister, nobody is chasing you from the village. It is okay. To decide not to get married. It is okay to be single. Did you hear me? Marriage is a choice. Marriage is an effort. Marriage is capability. There are some things that some of us are not capable of doing. No matter how we try. So my dad and I am here to tell you that. Eh? It is okay to be single. It is not a crime. Stop allowing those pastors to be brainwashing you. Anytime you go to church, ra, 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 ra. you are 40, you are 50, you are no married. Somebody is chasing you from the village. There is somebody chasing you from the village. There is a man. You have spiritual husband. Who is the spiritual husband? He's a liar. 
hi, my darling. It is okay to decide not to get married. It is okay to choose not to get married. It is okay to be by yourself. <laughs> my Bible tells me so. <laughs> a lot of you have so much power that you do not know how to use. A lot of you have a Bible in your house. You put it under your pillow every day. You go to church and somebody gives you a different interpretation. Why not go to your Bible? Somebody says the meaning of this thing is this. You have Google. You have a dictionary. Why not have an understanding of your own? Leave people's understanding alone. The way this person understands life is not the way you understand life. Why not get your own interpretation of life and leave other people's interpretation of you? That is what it takes to be a personality. A personality simply means your belief, your choices, and your way of life, not other people's belief. That is what makes you a unique persona. What you believe, what you agree, and what you accept. My darling, it is okay to be single. Whether you're a man or a woman, it is okay to be by yourself. There is nobody that is chasing you from your village. My Bible has proved that wrong. Go and continue in your self-development. Go and continue in your self-improvement. Go and continue in touching life and creating impact to the world. That is what you're going to be remembered for. Nobody might even remember you for marriage. Nobody might remember you for all these things you are lying society coin into your head. People are going to remember you for the impact. How many lives did you touch? How many lives have you touched? How many have you multiplied? What have you done with the life that God has given to you? Marriage is not the end of the life. Neither is it the beginning. Marriage does not add. Marriage does not subtract. Whenever you decide to get married, I want you to have something at the back of your mind. Marriage is what to bring two people come together to put something inside somewhere. Without you, without him, there cannot be any marriage. Without you, without them, there cannot be any marriage. Marriage is a joint effort. Marriage is a together effort. Marriage is to become your one. Stop letting people to deceive you. Focus on building yourself until you decide to get married because marriage is a choice and choice is what you choose.